I, I, I mean, I've always loved being in front of the camera. Mm. And then when I decided I wanted to take my career into my own hands, I started my own film production company. And I kind of just fell into it accidentally. I started a live stream after I had done a podcast. Mm. And on the podcast, uh, they were talking about Twitch. Yeah. And at the time, I didn't really know much about it. I'm sure everyone knows a lot more about Twitch nowadays. And so I just decided, you know, I'm just going to jump on this platform right away mm. and live stream. Welcome to the Let's Not Sugar Coated podcast, where every week we bring you real, raw, and unfiltered conversations designed to motivate and inspire you on your journey through motherhood, relationships, and career. We're your hosts, Alex and Bella. Thanks for spending this time with us. Let's get into it. I like this intro, so keep going. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. (laughs) So today we have the amazing Stacy Roy in the mm-hmm. house, whoop, whoop. Uh, vibrant, creative, thoughtful, and infectiously fun, which I totally agree with. Yeah. Stacy is driven to make every moment, opportunity, and interaction the best it can possibly be for her audience and clients alike. Her career took off when she sold her YouTube show, the nerdy bartender oh to an gosh. LA-based digital <laughs> network started by one of the largest craft brewers in the world. Following that, she was hired by Amazon to produce and host a live cooking show, 500 episodes to date, and her strong mm-hmm. sales and viewer engagement have led her to be a coveted Amazon A-lister award. In 2022, Stacy was the season three winner of the worldwide primetime smash hit, Lego Masters on Fox. Welcome, Stacy. Yeah, welcome. Oh, so hi. great to have you. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good to be here. Thank you so much for having me. No, thanks for We're squeezing so us in on yes. a, not a Monday. It's a Friday. Friday. We're all, it's yeah, Friday. It's yeah. Friday. 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 Well, it's Friday day. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> and we're drinking wine because, hey, it's TGIF. Friday. Yeah. Exactly. It's Friday. So, so this is perfect. Yeah. So welcome. I'm happy this worked out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We've been trying to connect. Uh, you're such a world traveler. And uh, yeah, I just, you know, watch you on Insta. And I'm like, I don't know how you do it. Like, it's amazing the amount of commitment and travel. And you're always smiling and you're always happy and you're such a light. She you is, know, you come sure. into any situation and you're just such joy. We just love you. you Aww, know? Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Well, and yeah, and, and so you're so <laughs> amazing. Like that Lego outfit that you had for your costume for Halloween. I yeah. was like, wow. Everyone I needs know. that. I love that. Yeah. Oh, running I'm down so the glad street. You yeah. liked it. Well, yeah, you saw me running yeah. down the street. Yeah. I was yeah. like, oh, there she is. <laughs> you actually saw her yeah. like out in the wild? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> She's in the, on the wild. She was, yeah. Um, oh, I mean, yeah. I had to do something fun for yeah. Halloween and I, I was with my friends and we were sitting around the table talking about, well, what should we dress up as yeah and I was like I'm gonna do a live stream so I should do something really (laughs) cute you know maybe a little bit sexy you know go for that stereotypical Halloween look an hour later I was in a cardboard box (laughs) and I was like this is perfect absolutely (laughs) you're like this is what I needed (laughs) this is what I needed this is so great we had so much fun creating that costume yeah that's that's awesome (laughs) I yeah usually I dress up every year but this year Lee wasn't here. So I was like, man, just the kids then, because I didn't want to be the only mom walking around with my with your costume, with my creepy doll costume. Yeah. So, Ooh, but anyways, like we do, though. we do creepy Halloween in oh, our creepy house. Halloween. So my yeah. children do not do the cutesy stuff. They are always gore and blood and <laughs> they yeah. look frightening. I found them the perfect costume. I'll show you the picture later, but it's basically. You take a zipper, you make it look like it's zipping over your face, and then you do like blood, like oh, it's yeah. the under skin. <laughs> First people I thought of was your children. Yeah, I was I like, know. oh. And they do, they were creeping people out there because they're twins, right? So they're, and then they do, they get into character and <laughs> they just love it. I just, yeah, I'm glad they take the makeup off before we go to bed because they do yes. tend to come in the middle of the night and knock like me on the head and be like, can I sleep with you? Or can you imagine? That it's they're coming so in so like, holy man. Have but, they done the the shining, like the token twins from the shining? No, but oh, maybe next year. That. Mm-hmm. Right? That'd be so good. Yeah. And so creepy. Something next year for sure. <laughs> A hundred percent. I love it. But yes, let's get okay. back to your yes. Lego war. Like I am so excited. Yeah. Yeah. I am not 
a Lego mom, just to be. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, I'm, does that mean you don't own any Lego in your house? Actually, I do not. The <gasps> only Lego I've owned was the big fat ones when the kids were little and they were gifted. Duplo. Duplo. Oh, Duplo. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was always scared of the choking thing. And then, yeah. you know, the Especially when they're really young. and then the uh, LOL doll thing came mm-hmm. out. So that was the Lego. Finding the pieces to those bloody dolls. It was that are a lot. so expensive and so much waste of plastic. I'm telling you, I'm just like, oh, but, absolutely. Yeah, Children's toys is a lot of uh, plastic yeah. waste for but sure. Yeah. The Lego has never come into like the kids. Actually, no, I like Kasha. She likes the Lego. She does. She did one truck. It was quite interesting. Oh, yeah, okay. She's a little bit like she's more and puzzling. Because Kaylee, she's my unicorn. She can't sit still for more than five seconds. And she's like, hey, this is so boring. <laughs> I, I, cannot, I cannot relate to the no Legoing. I have yeah. so much Lego in my house. I feel like Lego has taken much of my paycheck. And oh, yes. <laughs> it will do that and to you. It's it does like, it to amazing. me. Yeah. And I remember last year, Parker wanted more Lego, of course, for his birthday. So that's all I ever tell parents that he wants when they're like, what does he want for a birthday present? And then I had to, before I had to preface it and be like, Parker, you're probably going to get sets you've already had, but you don't react to it. Yeah. You know, we'll figure <laughs> it out after. And he was like, I got all the ones I already had. And I'm like, yeah, well, it's because you're a Lego maniac. Yeah. It's because you Lego. already have so much yeah. Lego. Yeah. Uh, so to- how many times have you stepped on Lego? Oh my gosh. So many times. But like, <laughs> he's also very, um, I didn't want to call him anal, but... <laughs> Very like, Meticu- you know, like, meticulous. And the yeah. other day, I'm trying to get him to be more, let's go with the fly. But like, so he's doing this Lego set and he couldn't find one piece. And it's like, then we were stopped forever. So finally I said, hey, you know what? Let's just see what happens if we build the Lego set without that piece. I know it's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's try it. And it was a big deal. But then afterwards he built it and he was like, you know what? I can't even see where that piece was supposed to go. I was like, yes. Yes. <laughs> because Lego's all about being creative, yeah. right? You sometimes have to make do when you lose a piece and you can't find the perfect part that you're that you want to have. So I love that you showed him that and was like, see, I bet you it's still going to turn out. (laughs) (laughs) Just took a couple of tears to get there, but yeah. (laughs) But do tell us your story. How the heck did you become a Lego master? (laughs) Did you always love it? Yeah, like tell us. Yeah, absolutely. So I I think I've always loved Lego. Mm -hmm. I remember as a kid, I was like your kid. I had so much Lego and I would build these giant Lego towers with my dad and we would take a picture of them and then I would get to knock it over. Yeah. Nice. And luckily I had the best parents ever and they always did the cleanup. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That's probably where I lost interest was the, you know, the sorting of the pieces. Mm -hmm. Uh, But it was so much fun. I loved building. I loved all the storytelling that went along with Lego. And then it really was a few years ago that I kind of got back into it in probably the most extravagant way ever. Mm. I decided to get the Millennium Falcon Lego set, which is huge. I think it's like 7,500 pieces. It is a huge Lego set. And I was having so much fun building it that I decided to live stream it. At the time, I was doing a cooking show for Amazon, Mm -hmm. Uh, but they were pretty flexible with me doing tech shows and exploring other ideas and things that I wanted to share with the world. So I decided to jump on and do a live stream where I would keep building Lego and people loved it. Oh, cool. And that's kind of when I realized, I was like, oh, I think I'm onto something. And then that's how I met my partner on the show, Mm -hmm. Brick and Nick. He was also a live streamer and he was like, oh, you're Canadian. I'm Canadian. We both love building Lego. Do you want to try to get on Lego Masters together? Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, that sounds fun. (laughs) Having access to over 5 million Lego bricks and getting to build Lego for seven weeks straight. I was like, that sounds like a total blast. Let's make that happen. And then before I knew it, I was flying off to Atlanta, Georgia to be on a TV show for Fox. Mm -hmm. And it's... That went, went very well, obviously, because yeah. I won it and all of the opportunities that have come from it have been amazing. So tell us a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm curious about yeah. these like TV shows, right? Like, how does it work? Is it, is it, um, I don't know, is it like truly live? Do they like really, like, I, I'm so do curious. Do they give direction? Yeah. Like, how you do not you, maybe she's not allowed to say. I, she's probably. <laughs> no, these her. are great <laughs> questions. I love it. Uh, so the hours are long. Yeah. People always like to ask me like, do you actually build for 24 hours straight? Mm-hmm. 
Not exactly. They do give us breaks. Yeah. We do get to have lunch and dinner, but the days are really long where we're building Lego. Uh, of course, they have rules for each challenge, mm -hmm. but for the most part, no, it's like really up to us to come up with what we're creating. Mm -hmm. And the gambling commission is involved as well because there's a huge grand prize. Mm -hmm. So every episode, they announce that challenge. They go over all the rules. And then that red clock starts ticking down yeah. and we have X amount of hours to build the best thing we possibly can. Yeah. So it's, it's really, it's intense. But like I said, they do let us eat, you know, we get water breaks, yeah. all of that. But the days are very, very long because we're not just filming the Lego builds. We're filming interviews. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all the behind the scenes behind and the judging. Scenes. Yeah. Yeah. Was there ever some times where you're like, oh my gosh, this idea that we have, like, how the heck are we going to execute it like oh all the time yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all the time it's it's always around that like halfway mark that you're like uh oh <laughs> yeah i don't know if we're gonna actually complete this in time <laughs> right <laughs> so, so yeah there's definitely lots of moments like that for sure so how do you come up because again i'm like a lego virgin yeah i think like a virgin i, I know like like virgin. Oh, oh. why didn't i bring Tax lego with me we should have made her do a totally set said, be like you have 20 and minutes go. 20 yeah. minutes <laughs> go to town Live. that would have been so fun if we were actually drinking wine and, and doing building lego, lego during ah, all of this next, next time, time. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> Next time, yeah. We'll also get some ASMR cameras, like yeah, or right. microphones set up so you can hear all the, clicking, the clicking of the bricks yeah. and like the clinking of the wine glasses. Oh, yeah, and the, like just like... Next time on yeah. Let's, Let's Not Sugar Coat it. it. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Live. <laughs> no, but yeah, like how do you come up with ideas? Because I know there is limitations on how you can build, you know, like pieces. Oh, and so you come up with an idea. Mm -hmm. Who provides you with all the pieces? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so great questions. Uh, I I love coming up with the ideas. Like mm -hmm. the storytelling aspect of Lego is my favorite part. Mm -hmm. That's what I really want to do is I want to bring my builds to life. Mm. So that's always been my like strong suit. That's what I think I really brought to the table when it came to being on Lego Masters. And as far as the pieces, we had a brick pit, which had over 5 million Lego bricks oh, wow. Wow. and a whole uh, brick pit crew that were constantly restocking pieces, helping you find pieces. Mm -hmm. If you couldn't, they were amazing. They're actually the true heroes yeah, okay. of right. the story I was that say, you don't see. Is it like an actual pit? With all the pieces, yeah, right. or, is it, is, or is it like little compartments with all the pieces? <laughs> it is very organized. Okay. Oh. Organized chaos. Yeah. I, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, and there's so many different. Could you imagine Lego words? if it a was just a pit, pit of and you had to like dive in yeah. and like look for that one little piece? That one know, square. So terrible. <laughs> so it's terrifying. It's like another TV show. Yeah. Find that one find piece. That piece. Find the piece. <laughs> find the missing link. That's like yeah. for Parker. Oh, you know, yeah, that's yeah, one, that link. one piece. You want it with like four squares instead of eight or something. Yeah. You're looking everywhere. Or looking that everywhere. little piece that's yeah. going to make your little... Oh, I can't right. say that. That's a tongue twister. Robot. Robot. Your robot, robot. Yeah. Be able to oh, move robot. or like a hinge yeah. or something yeah. that adds yeah. movement to it. Yeah. No, absolutely. Uh, so again, we couldn't have done it without the amazing mm -hmm. Brick Pit crew. Yeah. They helped us a lot. And I always felt so bad too, because I'm the messiest Lego builder. Mm -hmm. So after we were done filming and you know, that clock ticks down five, four, three, two, one, hands up, and you're not allowed to touch Lego anymore. Yeah. And I would look around and there would be Lego all over the floor, <laughs> all over the table. Like it was such a mess. And then you basically have to leave. And yeah. sometimes I would forget things on set. You know, yeah. I would switch out of my high heels, forget my high heels, have to run back. And the brick pit crew would be on the ground <laughs> picking up all the Lego pieces, pieces and sort of, it was like doing the walk of shame. I was like, I'm so sorry. Just like <laughs> Stacy's pile. And yeah, <laughs> all, like oh, she just, like, she's just, like, I'm done. Like, let well, I mean, drop. blame your parents for that. They let you knock it down and clean it up for you. So I know, right? Yeah. It's definitely yeah. their yeah. fault. But, yeah. See, that's the thing. The kids always blame the parents. Well, it's always our fault. I mean, that's it's always yeah. the parents' fault. It right? is. Yeah, we're used to it. It's Where's hard. my? I don't know. Yeah. I did not touch your thing. But <laughs> hey, but yeah, that's You're funny. Like, sure. Yeah, <laughs> but it is. It's kind of organized care chaos. Yeah, yeah. I mm -hmm. I work like that too because I'm a creative, and when you're a creative, it's like organ. You know where everything is, but it's but it's a mess everywhere. Yeah. It's yeah. a disaster. And then I also have a bit of like. OCD and ADHD. So then when the chaos gets too much, you know, you get that eye twitch. It's like, oh my gosh, I need to like 
figure this out or... So you're kind of like battling with both people yeah. inside. Yeah, it's yeah. like Jack and, Jackal and Hyde. Jackal and Hyde or whatever, yeah. 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 I know there's medication for that. <laughs> <laughs> I am working on it. <laughs> it's called wine. It, you know, <laughs> no. Well, I don't know. About the, wine. the wine is like, I don't give a... Yeah, uh, about anything. Uh, yeah, right. but just bring the broom. It's all getting swept yeah. and we'll start from scratch. Totally. But yeah. So what's your it. next yeah. big... Thing. Like what? Like because I know you like you're traveling a lot. Yeah. Um. And you're you're. I see you here, here, there. It's like holy man. It's kind of like the logo pit. Organized chaos. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so what is your big project? Like what? Are, you know what is what's your next big thing? You can't say, can you? So Ooh, that's a great question. I know. I'm us. like oh, because there's so much going on right now. I think I mentioned this earlier. I'm really trying to make the most of the opportunity. Yeah. So I've been just traveling around doing as many meet and greets and autograph signings as mm-hmm. I can. But that's led to a few projects mm-hmm. being in development, no. uh, including a feature, nice. which oh. is really exciting. So I can't talk too much about it, but yeah. I am very excited to yeah. make those things connect. Yeah. I'm I love excited to go. find out I about know. it. For film. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Give us at least a date or a round When we date. can know about when it. When do we, when should we watch for it? She's like, I'm not oh, even going to tell I you that. <laughs> So I stop signed, asking these questions. I signed so many NDAs. It is yeah. ridiculous. Okay, fair, fair. Like I, to, and also last night, I just had an episode of Lego Masters come out because I was a special guest mm-hmm. on season four. Oh, okay. And I'm getting all of these messages right now and people are like, I had no idea. We, yeah. we didn't expect to see you back on this new season, yeah. being a judge of sorts. And I'm like, well, it's because I couldn't say anything. Yeah, I couldn't right. tell anyone. So I'm very good at mm-hmm. keeping things It's like things love is blind, you know? Oh. They're in a relationship post the season ending, but you cannot tell anybody. I know. Anyone. You really it's got hard. me to that show. T- I'm addicted to that show. That's yeah. a good show. Oh. And I tried to like that other one that they host too, but I can't get into that. That ultimatum, that oh. one just is too much for me. I haven't watched I that one. It. I don't yeah. know. But I like to like marry me at the end of the show or not, we're done. It's just a little desperate. Oh. It's not my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's intense. <laughs> Love is well, Blind was already intense enough. Yeah, yeah. I love yeah. Love is Blind, but yeah, we're digressing, I guess. But I mean, it's a great <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all have our guilty pleasures. Yeah, that is definitely one. I also watched Temptation Island. Oh, oh, we do. oh my god, oh, Temptation oh, Island! My goodness, it, that's what I should be watching. Because I was trying to watch that other thing the other night, and I was the, like, no, is that with the cone? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I make Lee. I'm like, okay, he's going to so not be happy that I say this. Too. But every time I go to the lower mainland to be with him, mm-hmm. I, I turn on Temptation Island. I pour him a glass of rose. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so into it oh, too. So and funny. I made a little video as he's like swirling his <laughs> rose. Oh, he's Watching so going to kill me. And, he's gonna- <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, he turns around. He's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm like, but I love you because it's so cute. He does it for me. <laughs> yeah. I know he, it's like, but you know, you do get into it. Yeah. You do. Well, yeah, you Guys, can pretend not to and then you're like, oh, this is so But it's, it's like a bonding yeah. thing between us too, yeah. right? And he's not going to be mad no. for long. For <laughs> long. For just, long. Yeah. just pour him another glass yeah, of rosé rose when you say, get home. Yeah, yeah. Rose <laughs> Um, and what's that one <laughs> other one where it's like in, isn't it in Spanish or something? I was watching at your house once when they can pay more money to see what happened behind the scene. Oh, the truth Ooh. one, the eye detection thing. I haven't seen that yeah, one yet, but I've heard about like it. like a lying detection. Oh, oh it's intense. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a but lot. The, they're like roll the tape and then they play the whole thing of what happened. You're like, but it's AI. Like, it's crazy. Like, so... Because we're talking about reality shows, yeah. yeah, you know, like it's it's crazy that the technology that they have is like they have like an eye detection thing and AI um, to make the couples believe that their partner is doing something that they're not. They mm-hmm. have actors doing it, and then they put their faces on, and they need to see say if it's truth or, or not. Or not, yeah, it's so creepy. Oh. Oh. Do that's something really, like that. That's, <laughs> so hopefully that's, that's what you have in the works. Oh my that's goodness. it. You're gonna, you got to yeah. do something. That's I was already just thinking the way they edit reality TV shows. Yeah. They can just change the story based yeah. on their cuts or mm-hmm. what they're showing someone. Also do tell us. Let alone using like AI. Or can you? 
uh, <laughs> if there is anything that they've cut out in the shows. Uh, any like she probably NDA that <laughs> yeah she probably did too uh, but generally like let's not talk yeah do like like any tiffs any like oh I little, like, like little drama little moments. drama moments <laughs> <laughs> I bet there was drama. I mean, I, I really, I really wish there was. I think I went on the best reality show in the world, mm, where everybody um, loved everybody. Everyone was so nice and so supportive. We would help each other with our Lego builds. Yeah, but I mean, we were a little wild and crazy when we yeah. weren't filming. Like we were right. all hanging out, and it felt like dorm life because oh, it was COVID times, and we weren't allowed to leave our mm. hotel. So it was hotel set. And then back and forth. We couldn't go out grocery shopping. We couldn't go out for a walk without a chaperone. Mm. So we became so close. And yeah, we were constantly just like running around this hotel and like going to someone's <laughs> room to have like drinks and talk about Lego, even though we were so oh, overworked so and the fun. hours were long. <laughs> yeah. so it was so much fun. How long do you as, stay in a hotel? Uh, I was filming for about seven weeks. Oh, wow. And yeah. was it in LA? Is that where it was? No, they filmed season one in LA and then they moved over to Atlanta, Georgia. So that's okay. where I filmed season three. Mm. And again, yeah, we couldn't go out. We couldn't see anyone. Did they give you at least like rooms with jacuzzis and pools? And I wish. <laughs> <laughs> the rooms were nice. Like we had little kitchenettes, even though no one had the energy to cook after yeah. a yeah. long day of filming. Uh, but no, they just had showers. And that's really yeah. hard for me because I'm such a bath girl. Mm. So I actually came up with a trick for those that are traveling on the world, mm. like traveling around a lot and not getting their bath time. Just like put like a few face cloths down yeah. and just like, Kind of fill up the shower yeah. with like a little bit of water and yeah, have and a little, just like a little, yeah, a little like my brother, he, calls that a bower. <laughs> he calls that a bower, my brother in law, when you're like really hungover and you have like a half shower, half bath, where you're like <laughs> kind of lugging it. Kind of, yeah, exactly. Uh, so I definitely had to do that because I was missing my bass for sure. But for they took such good care of us mm. on set and. Yeah, we became a family. Yeah. It was probably the best show to be on. I know uh -huh. when I was auditioning to be on it and like meeting with casting, casting was like, there's also this other show we think you'd be great for. Yeah. And that's Big Brother. Mm. Yeah. I and think I you was, made the right choice. <laughs> I think so too. I was like, I don't think I have what it takes to go on Big Brother. Yeah. I was like, Lego Masters is way more up my alley. Yeah. You're way too nice to be on Big Brother, right? right? I yeah. think so too. Yeah. I'm like, I would have got eaten alive. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> or you would have been like one that's like kind of like, Everybody loves and it's not a threat. And then, oh and then they God, come and get us a threat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, what did I do? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Big Brother. Big was, Brother's an intense show. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't I was watched like, it I'm, Yeah. I'm not cut out for this. So right. Lego, Lego Masters, Masters was definitely the right show to go on. Yeah. And it all turned out very well for That's me. That's awesome. <laughs> well, since we're on the travel topic, sure. yeah. um, and you said you had travel tips for those you know people who travel a lot give us some you know insights of how do you keep sane <laughs> not being home for such long periods of time mm -hmm. and you totally. know not you know yeah yeah connect because yeah. you, you're constantly going right so yeah I'm constantly yeah. traveling and it's not easy and mm -hmm. I'm I'm still learning and figuring out how to make myself feel okay with all the travels that I'm doing and feel sane and grounded. So I guess one thing I would say is try to find a little bit of routine mm -hmm. that you can practice every morning. Mm -hmm. So when I travel, I still try to like, you know, set my alarm early enough that I can still get a little bit of journaling in, have like a cup of hot water, a coffee, just something that I would do normally when I'm at home. And mm -hmm. I try to do that on the road and that really, really helps. Uh, as far as like just the craziness of traveling, get yourself a suitcase that has a warranty. No. <laughs> so okay, every fair. time it breaks, they're yeah. going to replace it because I have broken so many suitcases mm. over the last year. It's crazy. Great. So um, I'm like, I, I got to I gotta fix this problem because yeah. this is getting a little bit ridiculous. You know, they're not easy on the bags. And bringing a blanket mm. on a plane really helps. Yeah. Yeah. Some of those, those how do you lines are for cold. six weeks. Yeah. I mean, I, do you get I'll, like a, a dry clean somewhere along the way or you just bring it all? I try to just kind of like bring it all mm -hmm. and hope that there's somewhere that, yes, I can get some dry cleaning done or wash something in between. But yeah, it's, it's hard to pack. And I'm definitely guilty that these days I get home, I open up my suitcase 
everything goes in the wash and just goes right back into the suitcase. Yeah. Right. Mine is like a few different outfit changes or swaps. Yeah. I just, I don't even unpack my suitcase anymore. I yeah. just leave it all packed. So it's ready yeah. to go. That's kind of my summer when I traveled between lower mainland and here. And yeah, it was, I just had my suitcase. I'm like, what needs to be washed? Oh, you know, right. a couple of bathing yeah. suits, this and that. And then it just like, it just stayed. But oh, yeah. My kids Do you travel season. light? Or do you try, like, do you, I'm a pack rat. So I used to be. Yeah. And then I had many bags get lost. Uh, <laughs> and I learned I had to travel sure. light mm. and do carry on bags. Yeah. So just because I'd be so nervous about something getting lost, especially if it was something that was very important for wardrobe, for being on set, my makeup, hair, yeah. like all that kind of stuff. So I've right. learned how to pack light, but it's not easy. Yeah. Yeah, especially if you go somewhere and then you want to buy a couple of things and then you're like, it doesn't fit in the bag. Doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't I just fit. buy a new suitcase. Like, buy a new suitcase. I just buy yeah. a suitcase. And when I yeah. travel to Europe, I always travel Fair. lighter mm-hmm. going there. Yes. But then I'm always coming back with one or two extra. So and thank more. God, like for the children, because now they get like used to, you know, have little stuff for them. And now I get big suitcases right. for them. Yes. Regular size. Yes. Regular size. And I can... Just pack my stuff Fill in that there. stuff Fill in. that suckers in. Yeah. yeah. That's the way to do it. I yeah. love it. <laughs> yeah. So, no, but with all the travel, you know, um, I know you have no children. <laughs> I have no children. <laughs> Is that something in the future that you're planning on Absolutely. doing? Absolutely. Yeah. I would love to be a mom. Yeah. I had a fantastic childhood. I have such a great relationship with my parents. I would mm-hmm. love to have that one day with my own kid. Yeah. And I mean, I love Lego and I'm like, yeah. my collection of oh my toys gosh. and Lego is insane. I'm like, I have to share that with a little. Yeah. What if they point. don't like the Lego? How can oh. you not? I mean, then they're up for adoption. Yeah. Do you want to give that to <laughs> Lego? No, Take it back. <laughs> Put it back. Return. You can return. Yeah, right? return. Yeah, there's yeah, like, yeah. like yeah. a, a six-year warranty yeah. in there, right? Yeah. Like yeah. this one's defective. This, one, this one's like yeah. Lego. They're out. They're, yeah, yeah, they're gone. Bye. Yeah. yeah. No, because I, I sometimes feel that because like, you know, I love certain things and mm-hmm. I have girls and I want them to be you know I visualize oh my gosh they're gonna love this and that and they don't and I'm just like oh my gosh what's wrong with these people <laughs> what's wrong with these people yeah, I, I want my money back yeah, exactly. <laughs> two, two for one can I keep <laughs> one and return the other yeah, yeah. <laughs> exchange no no I'm just kidding I love them but it is hard because you know as like a mom I want my kids to love the things that I'm passionate about. Of course. And sometimes they don't. Yeah. And that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, I, I guess I hope that it's like something that you can bring out in yeah. them in other ways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, of course, I love Lego. I think it's a fantastic way to be creative mm-hmm. and to represent yourself. But there's so many other ways to do that yeah. as well. And I just want everyone to pursue I whatever think it is be that a, they're like passionate a, about. Yeah, an amazing mom. Oh, like, she's just mom. so yeah, freaking you. happy. You yeah. know, like just to, you know, yeah. Yeah. put her in a room. Every, everyone even loves if you're her. in a bad mood, you're like smiling and yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah, we just Thanks. love you. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about um, when it comes to Lego. So I, okay, my sister's kids, they mm-hmm. have like these bins of Lego, once they build a set, they don't really, they break it down. Then they have these things and they just make their own like creative Lego, right? They're like, those are, and you know, I think my sister also likes things organized. So they have these little (laughs) drawers for different size pieces and they, they organize it. But when they build something, it's just like straight out of their head. And, but my, my kid who loves Lego, he just is like, wants to build a set. And I've tried because at one point he had so many sets in his room that were like, you know what? We're bagging these sets. We're not going to buy another set. We're just going to redo these. Mm -hmm. That's a challenge. Like he doesn't like to redo the set he's already done. I mean, he does now because out of like, we're not buying you another Lego, ask for one for Christmas right now. So he'll do it. But it's hard because he wants to build it, look Mm -hmm. at it, let it go. But the idea of like a bin of Lego, like um, my ex-husband got all his old Lego from when he was little and he was so excited to like share this with Parker. And Parker was just like, Nope. No. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what to do with it. Where's yeah. the instruction yeah. book? By where is the yeah. guide? And so even there's this app Lego has, I think it's Lego, where you can take a picture of the Lego you have in front of you mm-hmm. and it'll give you an idea of what to create and it tells you what pieces to yeah. find. And he kind of likes that, but still okay. he wants to follow the instructions. Page one, book two, three, four. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, and I, I get that feeling. Like, it, it sounds like he's a completionist. I guess. He <laughs> wants to do it properly and to the book and just make it as perfect as he possibly can, which there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I think maybe what you could do is encourage him to maybe expand on those sets. So instead oh, okay. of completely destroying a Lego set that he's worked hard on to create, instead be like, how can we add to it? Mm. How can we just make this a little bit different? How can we put your own spin on it? Or how can we make it themed? Right. Maybe now this spaceship is like a, a spooky Halloween spaceship or, oh. you know. It's I like, like this. Yes. Yeah. So you're adding that creative piece onto the precise mm you know, step-by-step -step guide. I exactly. Like Maybe even taking a spaceship and be like, what if we built the world around the spaceship mm. so that we could display it properly and it looks like we're seeing, you know, space right. behind it. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Okay. So I think maybe like it's starting small because he's probably realized at this point too that there's so many different Lego pieces and there's so much that you can do with them and it can be very overwhelming. Right. Yeah, so, I mean, it can. Yeah. So sometimes when you just look at this giant pile of Lego, for some that might be like, yes, I just want to dive in and start grabbing pieces. And for other kids and people, it might just be like, oh, that's very overwhelming. There's just too much to choose from. Right. So just maybe kind of simplifying that. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Were you? Uh, that's what I was going to ask. Her yeah, too. <laughs> uh, were you one to? Do, well, I think she wasn't. There's were you coming. always a creative like go with all the pieces, or, or were did you, you were you once a follow the step of Lego person? So I think I started off by just going with all the pieces. Yeah. Right. I love just going crazy and building things from my imagination. And now that I'm older, I do love set building yeah. and then transforming those sets mm. into something that's maybe a little bit personal. For transforming yeah. the set. I never thought of that. Guess mm. you need a Lego master to tell you this. Yeah. But that's right. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm totally going to try yeah. that. Yeah. It's really yeah. fun. <laughs> nice. Maybe I'll get my child some more Lego pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just, you should because there's so many Lego sets yeah. for everyone. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people don't realize that. But yeah. there's a set for everyone. Yeah. If you love Harry Potter, if you love Star Wars, there's a botanical series out there mm -hmm. now for adults. Like, you yeah. know, Lego plants that you don't have to water. Maybe I'll it get is amazing. into Legos. Yeah, I mean, I had a corn fun. doll. I'm communist Poland. Right. So <laughs> we got creative I mean, different ways, you know. There's you the field, you you, you yeah. got your corn on the cob. <laughs> the the thing that came out from the top was the hair we used to braid. And then when you peeled it down, that was the skirt. Oh, oh. yeah. Hello. Okay. And then we would draw the eyes and well, whatever. I mean, it sounds and like you'd be was... a great Lego creator. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good corn yeah. on the cob. Yeah. Kind of deal. <laughs> I love it. So every time you eat corn in the car, you're like, like oh, I'm oh, eating this. I'm so sorry. Yes, I, exactly, right? Oh, here, thanks for the tasty eye. <laughs> it's like the kids who become vegetarians because they grew up on a farm. You're like, I don't eat corn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, we did. We lived in this one house in the cornfield and we did help out like harvest the corn. Oh. So very dangerous actually because I was in the back of the like the big truck when they were like throwing the corn in and I was actually sitting there. I could have totally been, but you know, safety back then. Mm -hmm. You know, just make another kid, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, make just make another just part of the corn just yeah that's why I, maybe that's why i call my children children of the corn come downstairs <laughs> maybe it's really ingrained in it's it. maybe maybe that's why they like spooky things too yeah, children maybe. of the corn yeah yeah but, but oh my goodness <laughs> that yeah. is hilarious that's crazy <laughs> i love it i think we need to top you up with some more wine because like we are definitely we're having a little partying wine party the party. i love it oh sorry oh, no, okay. closer. um yeah no lego is so cool and i love even my daughter likes lego she likes lego friends she got into a phase with the lego, LEGO friends. friends is amazing she loved it and like i think she had this um stable once that she made <gasps> from it yeah her dad's a like a chef by trade so she got somebody gave her like a house a lego friend's house and then there was like a pizza oven Ooh. the detail in these legos yeah. are so amazing like the little pizza oven with the like it had the little steamy thing come up the top they're they're really intricate these the, sets the detail is incredible mm -hmm. like you look at the photos before you buy a set or you look at the back of the box and it looks very interesting but it's not really until you get in there and you start building that you go oh wow they thought of this or this moment if it's from a show and it's 
it's it's really exciting to build That's because cool. it's one of those things where you're like, it definitely looks better than anything they're going to show you online. That's cool. In the Edmonton Mall, actually, no, I, I saw... Say it the right way. Oh, oh right. No. West Edmonton <laughs> yeah. Mall. Also, wasn't there a thing when I was a yeah. kid? It was like, West, West Edmonton Mall. Whatever, yeah. I know. Her friend, Evelina, was like, there, there's more than one mall here. We don't only call it the Edmonton Mall, yeah. but I just always call it that. It's yeah. like one Edmonton Mall. So the West Edmonton Mall, the Lego store, when I was there, they had this big um, Camaro that they had built. Ooh. And it was from um, whatever that movie is with Bumblebee, uh, Transformers. Oh, Transformers. Transformers yeah. And it had a sign. Now I can't <gasps> remember she wait? It. Doesn't she look like... Um, yeah, the girl from, from the Transformer. What's her name? The hot one. Come on. Uh... Yes. yes. No, I yes! yes! I wish. I will yeah, take that as a too. compliment. Thank you. you know, totally but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> she's a transformer. Yeah. I'm like, oh, Megan yeah, Fox is there she in the is. house. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I've gotten a lot of celebrity, you know, yeah. like lookalikes. I've never gotten that one. Well, so thank well you have you. like similar hair and face. yeah, and yeah. The bod. I mean, like give her the yeah. first scene of the like she's on the motorcycle. Yeah, yeah just go. So <laughs> Let's go. do a photo I'll shoot. Take it. She's, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You yeah. Know, made they made my day. <laughs> well, it's true. But they had it, and they had this sign that said something like twenty-two. Lego employees built this in X amount of hours. Like it took them a long time, but it yeah. was so cool. It was amazing. It was huge, life size. Oh, I Very love cool. that. Every city I go to, because I'm traveling so much, I always try to go into the Lego store. And now I'm seeing so many Lego stores in airports. Mm. Oh. too. It is so great. And they have lots of photo opportunities as well, where they've built some sort of cool Lego creation that you want to take a picture next to. And it's awesome. Yeah, it's amazing awesome. what they're creating. Did they put a new Lego store in Vancouver? Because remember it was at 41st and then they got rid of that mall. Yeah. And I'm like, where is the Lego store? They need one. Lego so if you're listening. So I know they have, yeah, if you're listening, we need more Lego stores. <laughs> yeah. but we also need one in Kelowna. Oh, yeah. we definitely. I think, yeah. you know, once the airport expands to become yeah. an the international city's gonna airport, actually become yeah. a city city. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, because we're kind of a city. Uh, ish. Yeah. 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 We went looking for shoes for my husband today. It was like fail. Was like, oh, no. <laughs> we have to go to well, Vancouver. Well, the mall is a little bit. I mean, this is the Kelowna yeah, mall. The Kelowna mall. <laughs> yeah, it's we know Edmonton have one. mall, guys. It's not a there is Edmonton only one. Yeah. <laughs> if you tell if you tell your taxi driver Kelowna yeah. mall, they know exactly they know where yeah. to bring yeah. you. Yeah. 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 yeah, not like Edmonton. <laughs> I'm an entity, they're like, what mall do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay. So we need more. We definitely need more local. Locations. Yeah. And uh, just so you know, I think there is one store in Richmond because mm. I did a meet and greet there, like an autograph signing, yeah. which is great. And I know there's one in Metro Town, but you're right. I don't know if there is one right in Vancouver. It should be yeah. like a Disney store, but a Lego store. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm yeah. curious about your cooking. Are you yeah. still cooking? Not as much. Okay. I did do a little bit of cooking on Halloween. Mm -hmm. I did a live show and I haven't done one did in a while. Did you do a theme to like eyeballs? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I did uh, mummy jalapeno poppers. No. Oh. With their little eyes mm. and... Yeah. I'm also very sensitive to spice though. So I just like touched like the jalapenos quickly because my girlfriend was like, I'm going to cut these for you because yeah. the seeds and all of that. And she's like, I know you're sensitive. And I was like, perfect. Thank you so much. And then I went to get ready and then my lips were burning. Oh, like 15 oh. minutes later. And I was like, how, what was happening right now? I was Limp like, plumper. Oh, yeah. yeah right. Yeah. I was like, I was <laughs> looking at all of the ingredients oh, in my lipstick being like, do one of these have a lip plumper? Why, why does it feel so spicy <laughs> yeah. right now? And all I had done was touch them. Anyway, so I was a little bit nervous about that. So we start the cooking show. And I've got my cute little Lego hands on, mm -hmm. which means I can't do anything. Right. So before I knew it, I had them both helping. So it was kind of the best cooking show ever because I just got to stand there and, and delegate yeah. and delegate and be like, yes, if you could do this. And I walked them through all the steps and they were delicious. So do you have a cookbook or is it just like random? Tell us. Yeah, like, so it's it? pretty much random recipes. Yeah. I, you know, I followed the trends on TikTok and Instagram. Yeah. And I'm like, if it's something that intrigues me, I'll be like, I have to try that. Yeah. So I've made some very weird things on my Amazon cook show, like mm -hmm. mayo ice cream with oh. ketchup that oh. you dip french fries into. Or yeah. dill pickle soup and just Dill all pickle soup of is things. not weird. It's that's delicious. a Polish thing. Okay, I'm just <laughs> telling you that's like a staple in my house. <laughs> It's so it's good. It is, the best. it is like the best. My children love it because again, we've we've lived 
all over. And uh, our palates are very uh, robust. <laughs> I don't know. What I'm yeah, like, like uh, diverse advanced, or something. Uh, diverse. Oh, yes. I don't know. Yeah, but that's like a po- like the Polish pickle soup is like babcha. Babcha Make that is coming over. Oh, yes, so, I didn't time, know yeah. that. Yes, I'm gonna. I'm going to have you guys over yes. for some dill pickle soup. Oh, I won't make a flaky. Maybe I will, but What's I won't flaky? tell you. I'm not going to tell yeah, you. What is? But no. I want to know. Uh, I know. I will. It's called tripe <laughs> soup. So that's oh, all I'm going to say. Okay. okay. It is so good. I mean, smelling it, like when it's cooking, it's not the best of <laughs> but the But eating smell, it, it's so good. But eating, it's like stinky tofu. When we lived in Taiwan, <sighs> like you could not walk through the like night market mm-hmm. without one stinky tofu stand. And I have a mm-hmm. really bad gag reflex. <laughs> so every time we were walking, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. It's like so embarrassing. But, you know, over, over you know the year whatever it, yeah. it was it was fine but the tripe <laughs> soup is kind of like that cuz okay. when you're when you're boiling the ingredients multiple times over <laughs> huh? it, it gets better it gets yeah, okay, better okay. <laughs> yeah so okay yeah I would but love that. I'm, I want I'm to be in. invited over. Yeah. For dill pickle soup. Yeah. yeah. Also tripe soup yeah. and yeah. wine. All yeah. the yeah. things. Yeah. That's all, all the, the good things. stuff. <laughs> we have Let's some weird stuff in the our Polish kitchen. I love that. Um, yeah, even like our like uh, soups that we make. Why is my phone on? No, it might have uh, been me. Maybe. Stop beeping! I, I'm trying to turn Jeez, it off, Louise. I know. Put it on yeah. airplane airplane mode. mode damn it! <laughs> I usually turn it off. I think because I read the bio. Okay, go. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's like a soup with chicken feet, and it's the oh. best thing ever huh. because okay. it has all kinds of like vegetables. But what my children love the most is the fingers that the chicken feet give when they <laughs> come up, you know? They give the chicken uh, yeah, feet, give, give the finger. finger. Huh. So it's a thing, That's right? Hilarious. Like it's the chicken finger. F you, the chicken F you or the, something. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Chicken I finger soup. Oh, but, that's you know, funny. They're like, you know, almost 11 now. So yeah. it's like the thing now. Mommy, I can't say the swear word. Oh, oh, we're having the chicken finger soup. Yeah, <laughs> we're having chicken finger soup. <laughs> but not oh, the type cute. of chicken fingers that, that people are thinking. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, how have I not had you on my cooking yeah. show? <laughs> this is like the best. This is pretty awesome. So, yeah. yeah. I'm going to need you there for that because as yeah. intrigued as I am, I don't think I can handle that recipe yeah. on my own. So you just need to come over. <laughs> guest. Yeah. yeah, no yeah, problem. I can make it happen. <laughs> prep the, yeah, yeah. The chicken feet all the way. <laughs> With claws. With yeah. claws. <laughs> They'll just peek out. Yeah. They do. It's just like Funny. rando. Yeah. yeah. It's good to make for Halloween too. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Yeah. <laughs> that so is do you, hilarious. Do you, do you uh, your cooking show is? Do you do it at your house, or do you have like a kitchen that you go to? Or yeah, so I have a studio okay. that I built. That's actually why I moved to Kelowna, mm-hmm. as I was trying to expand my space, expand the studio, and that's why I came up here. And so, yeah, I have it all set up. I have green screen windows as well, so when oh, I'm doing fancy. live shows, you know, it can be very interactive mm. with the audience, which is great. And yeah. Not so how, how did you get good at all this like live streaming stuff? Were you just always good at it or? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I don't know. Well, maybe. she's younger. She's in the younger generation. <laughs> so so I'm maybe I should allow my children to uh, play with the phones more yeah. often. <laughs> yeah, social media. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I've always loved being in front of the camera. Mm. And then when I decided I wanted to take my career into my own hands, I started my own film production company. And I kind of just fell into it accidentally. I started a live stream after I had done a podcast. Mm. And on the podcast, uh, they were talking about Twitch. And at the time, I didn't really know much about it. I'm sure everyone knows a lot more about Twitch nowadays. And so I just decided, you know, I'm just going to jump on this platform right away Mm. and live stream. And I just really enjoyed it. I loved it. I thought it was a cool platform. And I just started expanding all of my shows. A lot of cool opportunities came out of it. Mm -hmm. 
And I just kind of, I just kind of ran with it and yeah. learned along the way. Mm-hmm. And when it came to something like my cooking show, I really had no idea how to cook. And that's why it became a cooking show is because my very first episode, I didn't know how to cook bacon. Oh. <laughs> and people watch me put butter in the pan and then put the bacon in the yeah. pan uh, and yeah. then put the salt in the pan. And it was, I'm sure I was getting a lot of face palm <laughs> emojis as this was happening. But I was like, I have no, I know nothing. Right. Teach me. And then 500 episodes later, Later, I can confidently say I'm a very good cook (laughs) and I can make a lot of really yummy, fun dishes. Yeah. Amazing. That's awesome. What I love about that is that, you know, you're just going for it. I love that too. Yeah. That's, you know, kind of my motto too is the universe opens up a bunch of doors and it's just up to you to to walk through those doors and just experiment, you know, whether you, you succeed or not it's still an experience. You still can take it. It's a lesson in life. And I feel like our, you know, children right now, they don't have those kind of opportunities because everything is super like structured. Mm. You you can't do this, can't do that. I feel, yeah, our generation mm-hmm. uh, had a little bit more like flow freedom and, stuff. and yeah. freedom. Everything is very scheduled right now. There's no creative juices going per se, unless you come from a family that, is very like my my kids are very entrepreneurial. I mean, they sell rocks. They take my rocks from the front lawn, paint them, and then yeah, they all their neighbors them. know them. They know they them. Yeah, we went trick or treating for the first time in my neighborhood <laughs> this year, and all like majority of the neighbors are like, "Oh, here are my twins. You sold me those rocks. <laughs> Any more coming?" I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" I'm like, "Hi, I'm the mom. I've never <laughs> met you," but they do. You know, I let them be creative yeah. they're constantly thinking of business ideas they the only do. thing <laughs> that, yeah that. the only I thing is that they don't uh they want that quick and easy mm. right it's like well let's make macrames and so we did that and it was fun but they're like let's just sell uh juice on the side of the road because in Edmonton they made two hundred dollars on a lemonade stand. Oh my because goodness! Because they're so cute. They and were little. cute, and our neighbor just <laughs> gave them like a hundred bucks. I'm like, dude. I'm like, come on, Jason. He said the now bar high, he Jason. Said the like now they're gonna think they can make two hundred. It's actually bucks all his li- fault that they think they can get an easy fix. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> we blame him, <laughs> Jason. Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> But yeah, oh. no, I love that, you know, being creative and taking action, just taking doing action. it, even yeah, though you're that's, unsure. Yeah. yeah. I think that's, that's so important. It's the, it's the not being afraid to fail. Mm-hmm. And so many of the different shows I've done over the years were exactly that. I'm just mm. going to try to learn something new. Yeah. And it might be a flop and I might fall on my face, but that's fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think that's really important for, yeah. I think, kids and teenagers to realize and young adults is yeah. it's okay to fail yeah. as long as you learn something. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. try it. See You're what constantly you get moving it. forward. That's what I always yes. say. And then, you know, you'll come to a fork in the road. It's like, okay, this path isn't working for me anymore. Let's try this path. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we don't see it as that. It's like, oh my gosh, I failed. Now I'm going to crawl into a hole and die. Ah, or, no. yeah. Right? No. And, but it's like, it's no, it's all experience. It's like, yeah, okay, it didn't work. Or it doesn't align with my values right now. So I tried it. It's not working. Okay, let's try something else. Let's yeah. try something else. Yeah. Shift it. And, and that's, yeah, it. I exactly. love what, like what you're doing, right? You're just like taking those opportunities and yeah, just taking action and, and just stepping into whatever's presented and seeing where it goes, right? Exactly. And when yeah. you have that attitude, when you're open to it, most of the time it works out. Yeah, totally. And like, <laughs> even the fact that you said that you were like, oh, I didn't know how to cook bacon and I just sort of went with it. Then some people would be like, fall in the trap of being like, oh, everybody said, you, you know, kind of shaming or whatever that, oh, she didn't put butter in this and whatever. And you just kind of laughed about it and learned from it. Mm-hmm. And yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. After that episode, I never put butter in the yeah. pan yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Bacon. <laughs> I learned that bacon has enough fat yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and salt and that's all. So yeah. Yeah. now we know. Yeah. Now we know. And now we move forward yeah. and like keep on going. Yeah. yeah. That's all. You learn through our mistakes. Like that's yes. the thing is like, there's always lessons in, in you know, the, 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 I'm not mistakes. I don't know. Like, you know, we're always learning. Yes. We never stop learning. And if you are a person, I'm speaking to you, this person, that you think you know everything, you know nothing. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) 
because we are. You know, I'm 43 years old. Oh my God, did I just say that? You okay, did. I'm, I'm she lied. 33. <laughs> Sorry, guys. No, just kidding. Uh, and um, yeah, I'm still learning things about myself. We're always evolving. You know, what I liked in my 20s is not what I like in my 40s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm exploring new things and I'm setting boundaries, but I'm constantly moving forward. Yeah. And I feel maybe. like that's kind of, you know, your path, you're passionate. You're mm-hmm. loving life. You're loving. And it's not 100% all the time. You know, no, I'm, I'm sure it's, you know, ups and downs. Absolutely. Like where there's with everything. But I mean, you just got to keep on. You keep on going. Keep on, what's that? <laughs> keep on going. That's, uh, Nemo, finding Nemo. Oh, yeah. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. swimming. <laughs> just keep oh, swimming. I love just that movie. It's <laughs> so good. And that is such an important lesson uh, in that yeah. movie. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just yeah. keep going. Yeah. And be more like Dory, just like, you know, yeah. love life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like Ted Lasso says, I don't know if you guys yeah. watched Ted Lasso, but be a goldfish. Right. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Same well, kind of I thing. feel like my mom is a bit of a goldfish. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, mom. Yeah. yeah. Oh. But anyways, well, um, amazing. Yeah, we yeah. need to now be done because oh, okay. apparently oh, we are. Are, done. are we getting the wrap up? Are we? Yeah, this really? up? Yeah, so I feel like we still have so much to dive I know, in. Right? We have so much to talk the, about. The hour always flies by when we're having fun and yeah. there's wine involved. And next time we're gonna totally do a live like with oh, like a with, live Lego challenge. Yeah. Like, and oh, then the three that. of us. I know who's it, gonna, well. Oh. I can't. No, you can't participate. No, I'll, yeah, I was just. <laughs> Yeah, like you both participate. Yeah. I'll give the rules and yeah. like, I'll the be the Lego judging. Master, okay, you be like the, the chimer, the one who's like hands off. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Hands off and I'm just going to like throw Shoom, my boom and, and like just, just walk, be, like, away. walk away. Exactly. Oh, and then wait. we're going to have Ryan clean up the And then the we'll Legos. eat the pickle soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so yeah. much, Stacey. Oh, and I mean, where can people find you if they want to find you on Instagram? Yeah, Stacy Roy, right? So pretty much all my social media platforms are at the Stacy Roy. Okay, she has a the underneath. She's yes, very important. I'm the, the I say Stacey. the Stacy yeah. Roy, and then people get all confused. I'm like, okay, now I'm going uh, the the Stacy Roy. Roy. Yeah. Uh, English is such a confusing language, well, but let's, yeah, that's, that's another, yeah, another topic. topic. Another topic. <laughs> but basically, you can search my name, Stacy Roy, and I'll come up for IMDb, Wikipedia, mm-hmm, yeah. all that kind of stuff. And I love connecting with people. So mm-hmm. if you're watching this podcast right now and you want to reach out if you have questions about lego or like introducing lego to your kids or how to expand on that please send me a message because i would love to chat more awesome. okay well i can't yeah. wait to have you back again I know, okay, right? really i'm okay. so excited this was amazing thank you so much for having me no, thanks for thanks coming for and coming. making the time yeah, yeah. we really appreciate it yeah it's great with your sk- sk- Schedule. Crazy schedule. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's crazy, but you made yeah. this so wonderful. So thank you. <laughs> oh, thank thanks. you. Have a good day. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for listening. Now we want to hear from you. And don't forget to follow us at Let's Not Sugarcoated Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. Until next time. Bye. Bye.